Reeve was speaking Tuesday evening in the Barbados radio program, Mason and Guess, where he was asked to respond to GCB's release, which headlined, GCB peeved with under-19 World Cup training squad name by Sila by selectors. Machu Nandu, Isaiah Thorne, Mavinja Dindial, and Rampatap Ram North were the Guyanese selected in the 56-man squad. I haven't seen you know, or, uh, or read what, what the GCB is saying, mm. but the, the GCB had the opportunity, like everybody else, when we were looking for the players in the initial stage, they put forward their best players to us. Oh. And it's unfortunate that um, that they didn't get in the, the, the games like Trinidad and, and Barbados did so that we can see the other players. But like I said, um, I think that we, we, we've chosen the, the best possible 56 guys to work with at this present moment, seeing that there was no there was no youth cricket player last year. There was none, there's none playing this year. The maximum that we can go to is 56 to get in a mini best of best tournament that we're going to play here in Antigua. Just about an hour after sealed by release to the media, the names of the 56 players, the GCB sent their release. According to the GCB release, Guyan has a number of very talented under-19 cricketers who must be recognized by the regional selectors, whose names will once again be forwarded to CWI with a request for them to be added to the squad. The release added that GCB will continue to diligently monitor the selection process of CWI to ensure there is a level playing field across the region. In this regard, the GCB will continue to engage CWI in order to obtain a copy of the CWI selection criteria policy. A request had already been made to CWI. The president of the GCB and vice president are current directors on CWI. We've added that apart from the board submitted names, there were trial matches in each territory, which did not occur in Guyana due to rain in early June. There was no youth cricket played last year. There's none being played this year. Right? Because we all know the situation and the world that we live in. Um, Mr. Graham S., he prepared a death chart. Uh, we went back to the under-17 group uh, two years ago and in consultation with the different coaches and selectors from the various um, territories, we came up with the 44 players from around the region. So each territory nominated their best players and that's how we got to the 44. Now the additional 12 players that were added on we asked each territory to produce some internal games because we felt that we wanted to see all the talent that is there possible for us to see before, you know, making that final selection. Um, so those games, games were played in Trinidad. We had games in Barbados, had games in Jamaica. Um, they had, we were supposed to have games in Guyana as well, but they were ran off. They probably only got any one game or half a game because of the weather situation. So the other 12 players were selected from amongst those games. So all those games were streamed live. Um, <clears throat> the selectors had the opportunity to see the boys play. Um, other people around the region was watching the cricket as well. So we kind of put together the other 12 from those games that were played over the last few months. The 56 players will be split into four groups of 14, where they will play against each other in four matches, after which the selectors will opt for 25 players, then 18 for the Youth Day International Tour of England in September. For the newsroom, Akim Green.